Hi all, once again I'm just going to do a quick review on this unit that Rogers put out uh, not less than a month ago, I think it was about three weeks ago. Anyway, if you follow through from the previous one I did a few days ago, uh, first of all I have to apologize about the microphone. My main microphone died on me, so I was using a backup microphone. I am hoping that this one is better in, in the audible for you. Anyway, so what I've done is I took it to the rural area in um, just outside Kitchener, Ontario, uh, and I will show you a map later on. I spoke to Rogers Tech Support. Uh, they had some very good information as to where the towers were, where the signals were going, and that is on the map later on. But I wanted to show you this here as to what they are. So a bit of a refresher, first of all. So this is the uh, speeds that Rogers is currently offering and the prices and so on. And we went through this last time. This was the readings that I got now uh, off one of the 5G towers. As you can see, it's 5G at the top. The last one, if you remember, did not have 5G. Um, now we've got very good signal strength at 5G. I'll show you where I was uh, physically when uh, this happened in reference to the tower. So it's got 5G and 4G, uh, not full five bars, but bars are just an indication. Numbers are the big thing. So minus 70 and minus 82 are very, very good. The noise, little high, not too bad. Um, I've had noise down as single digits before, but this isn't bad at all. So that was what the system was reading when I was in the area. Now the 4G, if you remember, we spoke about the uh, bands. So I was on the B66 and the B12. So those bands are not bad. B12 is not as good as B66, but it is not a bad band on that. And I'll show you why here. So B66, there it is there, gives a 2 to 5.2 uh, dBi through there. B12, much lower, much, much lower there. So um, to be on the B66 is the better one if you can get it. So this is why I said earlier, you've got to learn to read the numbers. Don't take you know, massive classes on it or anything like that. Just understand, and there is lots of information on the uh, internet in reference to things like this. But it gives you an idea of where we are. So the first test I did, uh, if you remember, I'm on the 50 meg package right now, 50 and 20. So this is the first one I did. Not quite as good as 50 and 20, however, still not bad on that regard. The second test I did was much, much better in reference to the um, download. Upload wasn't as good. The ping rate is not bad at all. The lower the ping rate, the better. If you look here, I actually had a lower number, uh, even though my speed was also lower too. So don't always say if this is low, then that'll be high. It, doesn't always apply, but you do have to sort of take care of this number and look at this as well. So slightly higher ping rate, but much better download speeds as well. Upload again was about the same as there, so that really didn't change much. So where was I? This is the boundary, the western boundary of Kitchener-Waterloo going towards Stratford. So according to Rogers, there is a tower just outside New Hamburg here, and its antennas are angled towards the highway. Well, that would make the most sense, because that's obviously where you want uh, a lot of the traffic to be. There is a bell tower here, <clears throat> owned by CTV, and obviously they're not going to be on that tower. This is actually called the Baden Hill. It's an extremely high tower. Unfortunately, Rogers don't own that. 
but they do own this. Now, there are other towers. There is another tower way up north here. There's another tower way up south here. Uh, and there are multiple other towers. But this is the one that I was interested in just to sort of see how it went. So the first test that I, did, I did was here. This was the lower numbers. And you can see I'm behind uh, the antennas here. It doesn't mean that I'm not getting signal, but I'm not right in the best place. The higher number, I was right here. And so therefore, I was in this range here, and that's where I got almost my 450 meg download speed. So again, a bit of a reference here. Uh, it is the first time it's been offered here. <clears throat> Allow them to work out the kinks. Yes, I am on the 5020 package, and um, I would like to see that increased. I would love to see an increase to uh, 100 and maybe 30 or 40. Uh, I think that would be really, really worth it. But again, let Rogers uh, to work this through on this. We don't have to read the radio numbers and understand their meanings. And for the most part, yes, it is worth it. So here you go. This is the second video. Once again, I'm going to ask you to please like it. And if you have any comments or anything you want me to cover, you're more than welcome to add them in the section there. And if you want to subscribe, then you will be kept up to date in regards to um, when my next videos will be out. I will be doing another one shortly about booster antennas and other antennas I've used. Did they work? Did they not work? Uh, what are the benefits of them? So in a few days, hopefully, I will have that ready for you as well.